Tools and edutainment. We are from Fairx 100. I'm Ariston Corporal. And he's Austin Russell. And we are the tools. Um, the first thing we would do is we would take 10 men out of the, uh, the barracks to go with us, well, 10 including us two, uh, down to the supply closet in the military uh, office and then have the rest of the barracks go to the auditorium, which will be our safe room, really. While we're there, we'll take, a, we'll take apart wooden shelves and like use it for barricading. So, and we have to also watch out for zombies, because they can pop out of anywhere. And then um, after we've taken apart the shelves, we'll run back, or run to the auditorium, not back to, uh, run to the auditorium and use teamwork to get the supplies upstairs. And a good tip is to use your laundry bags for the transportation of the tools. Alright, my name's uh, Chris Travis and this is Brian Chow. And we were in charge of uh, organizing the infirmary and um, what we would do in case of a zombie attack. And the first one, first aid kits are um, already ready. So it's like but before the zombie came, the first aid kit are like good to go. And the second, when the attack occurs, aid the nurse in distributing first aid kit there. Like, when the zombie came, all the uh, nurse, like, they go, they go where they're supposed to be, like they go to the garage and stuff. And third, first aid kit located next to the fire and alarm. So when you see zombies, you go, you go to your fire, um, you go to your first aid kit and get what you need and pull the alarm. So, so other people don't know like zombie came. By that time, um, all students should be up in their barracks and uh, the staff, um, like teachers, coaches. Uh, should report to the closest <coughs> barracks, and um, well, at that time, after everyone's up in the barracks, we have a roll call. Usually, uh, the student on barracks. I know for barracks 100, it's muscle man who's in charge of uh, our roll call. Whichever student's in charge of that should be taking roll call. And um, we know that uh, at any given time, there are four nurses on campus, and that leaves one nurse for every barracks. Uh, we are. It's I, aka the drive through and um, my name is Doug Wright, or Gus, and, and this I'm is Nick Crow. And uh, okay, so the gas grill is located down at the track right now, but they're bringing it up on Fourth of July. So depending on when the zombies attack, we it'll, it, we know where it is like all the time, and it has two full propane tanks, so that'll last us about a month and a half of grilling, and in the kitchen they have 26 hour miniature uh, burners, but they're not, a, they're like not enough to sustain to like cook food, but we can use them as like weapon ingredients. So they're like napalm jelly. And um, we have like one half, of, we can like last one half, but we can cook for a half a month with the grill. We also have like meat in the freezer, we have 40 pounds of ground beef, 120 pieces of chicken, and 80 hot dogs that last longer than the rest because it's so pasteurized or whatever. Or perp, I don't know what it is. Anyway. Um, then there's frozen fruits, but they will only last 48 hours once they're out of the freezer. And then the freezer will only last if once the electricity goes out. If you keep the door closed, it will last around 48 hours. Like keeping the perishable items like from like decaying and stuff. And there's enough bread for uh, the main freezer will stay cold for about 48 hours after the power failure. Um, cheese will also stay good for about one week because it's you know, gets aged anyway. Tastes good when it's older. There's not that much unperishable items, but there's 50 pounds of dried beans, which if you add beans and pasta, it makes a it makes a protein, complete. a complete protein. And there's eight days of peanut butter also. Uh, we have, we have a week's worth of oats, all together about two weeks worth of food without power. With power, we have a lot more because there's a lot of baking and stuff that we can choose. Yeah. 
<coughs> Hello, we are the other guys. The other guys. I'm Justin. And my name is Colin Sanders. And this is um, Saul Snow. And we work in clothing, bed supply, and guns. And our zombie defense plan is basically taking all the boards and covering the windows where these zombies can get in. And covering them with nails and then moving the beds in front of the windows so that we have an extra support to the, to the windows. And basically we have three leaders, me, Malino, and Snell. And I'll take, this about one, this about 200 people, let's say, 200 people in this whole campus, including staff. So I'll take about 66 and get all 138 boards it's about ground level. And it's only for the four buildings that are connected. And then Malino will gather 66 and get the material off the bed so that they can move that bed, the beds, the metal beds downstairs where the windows are. And then Snell, yeah, Snell will gather 66 people and start moving the beds. While that's going on, me and Mal Malino We'll get the ammo and guns, and there is, there should be, I counted this, um, but there should be 96 windows that are fake, that's facing this um, field in front of the uh, Camden Administration Building. There should be 96 windows facing that way, and so that we can, so we will put these 96 gunners in each window, in each uh, room, I'm sorry, and um, one or two room. Yeah, and um, they'll aim, basically they'll aim for the head to uh, kill them instantly, and point four, uh, take the covers and towels, and you know, and me and Malino will gather people to get all the gasoline that we find and pour it on top of the on top of the um, covers and towels and whatever on that field in front of the Camden building and um, we will, all you got to do is just throw a match to kill them, to burn them. You can burn them as well and, um, but don't, you know, you just got to, when, do it when it's the right time, when there's a big number to kill them and um, that's basically it. But I want to say that um, we also have a rally point if we, if they overtake, if they overtake us, so we will meet in the auditorium. That's because there's more exits there. And then we have our five rules. We have five rules. Rule number one: be alert and aim for the heads. Rule number two: listen carefully and check your surroundings. Rule number three: if someone has been bitten, then you're going to kill them. And if they're injured, like they fell down and they broke an arm or a leg, you're going to help them. Uh, rule number four. I already said that. Um, uh, yeah. yeah, it was including number three. Rule number five, to help those that need help. That's all. Get the math for the Yeah, just point yeah. to, um, you know. Oh, um, this is pretty much, I guess, the front of the school, and we have our people in the windows with the guns. Yeah, we didn't draw all of them. That's our um, zombie defense plan. And what are the other guys?